My degree is in biology and I wanted to go to med school, but I also love children and passing on knowledge. to the mouth too. I chew the food up well. What would that mean? I teach sixth and eighth grade science, sixth and eighth grade STEM at Thompson K-8 International Academy in Southfield, Michigan. I don't want yours to look just like this. Use your own creativity. I have been in Southfield Public Schools for, this is my sixth year, and I spent 23 years in Detroit Public Schools. So many people have left our profession and just staying the course and knowing that I have poured into so many students within my community and other communities. That's what I'm most proud of, staying the course. My favorite thing about Ms. McKee class is that we can discuss everything that we're learning and not just keep it to ourselves. We can ask her questions about the things. It's not really boring, like the work is fun and you get to learn like new things. My favorite thing is probably like like the labs and experiments thing. I'm more of a hands-on learner, so I really like that. Wow, ducks, I see you. <laughs> Working with the Cranbrook Institute of Science is wonderful. They have a plethora of resources. Even before I moved to Southfield Public Schools, I used to take my students on field trips there. I chose to work with the Fresh Water Program because it brings real life experiences to my students in the classroom with resources. Even during the pandemic, they've supported my classroom in so many ways. STEAM education is important because it's literally what goes on in daily life. At the beginning of the year, I have my students research a scientist that they see within themselves. As we progress through this, they see themselves as scientists. And so what I want to tell women and young children and young girls that you can do it. You can be a scientist. Scientists do not always work inside of a lab coat. They are affecting daily lives. Most of the field is driven by men. And so they have to break that barrier and show that it's women that are doing the great things also. So to overcome those challenges, stay the course, keep working hard, reach out to a woman and attach yourself so they can be a mentor to you. We need more teachers in the field of science. So I wanna encourage those young women to become science educators as well.